Hey guys, welcome to Science Class with Mr. Reynolds. Today we're going to get started on balancing chemical equations. Okay, at first these things kind of look uh, a little scary, but I'm going to walk you through it. It's not going to be a problem. So I've written this first one up here on the board. We always have to remember that this side of the equation is going to be called the reactant, this side the product. Okay, we'll go over that more in class, but I figure I'll just leave them up there so you see it more. Okay, now when we're doing this, we want this and this to equal out, okay? This is so that the, the law of conservation of mass is, is upheld, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. First thing we need to do is what I like to call take an inventory, okay? This makes it much easier. So you tell what is on both sides by writing them down here. So got this, got this. Do them in the same order over here. Okay, and then just tell how many there are. So here we've got one, here we've got two, here we've got one, here we've got six. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is try to make this and this the same, which they are, but now we run into a problem. This and this are not the same. So what do we have to do to get this to be this? Well, I'm going to give you the answer. Spoiler alert, you triple it. So over here, we're going to go like this. So this is what's called a coefficient, OK? With balancing chemical equations, you can only put in coefficients. You can't put in these, OK? The subscripts, you can't add those. Only coefficients. So this will tell you 3 times 2 is 6. OK, so these even out now. Does that make sense? OK. so. Up here, if there's nothing there, technically it's a 1. And normally we don't write numbers there because if there's nothing there, it's a 1. We know that. But just for the sake of doing this, for being in practice, we'll actually write the numbers. OK? So this one is done. What you might want to do is watch through this whole video first and then watch it again. And then each time I do a new problem, write it on a piece of paper pause the video, see if you can figure it out or work the problem out, balance it, and then start the video up and see if you did it right. Okay? Whatever works for you, as long as there's a right answer in the end, that's all that matters to me. Okay, so another one. First thing we want to do is put our dividing line here. That way we can take our inventory and it's not mushed up and you, know, you don't get confused. So let's take the inventory. So we've got C, H, and O. Same order over here, C, H, and O. All right, so over here we have one C, we have four H's, and we have two O's. Okay? Over here we've got one C, two H's, and one, two, three O's. Okay? Got to look through the whole problem, see if there are any other letters that, uh, for elements that you need to add up. Sometimes that'll, it'll happen like this, and somebody will focus on the O2, and then it'll be like, ah, rats, there's another O down there. I've got to start all over again. All right, so let's see. The C's are balanced. That's good. The H's are not balanced. OK, so we've got four over here. We've got two over here. What do we need to do? Well, we need to times this by two. So you put a coefficient there. This is 2 times 2. This will give us our four H's. Fine and good. So now this is balanced. This is balanced. But now we messed up our O over here. So we've got 2 here. And then 2 times 1 would be 2. So we've got 4 over here now. And then we have only have 2 over here. So what are we going to have to do? Well. Put a coefficient here of 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, okay? This is balanced, this is balanced, this is balanced. And just for the sake of putting numbers in to put numbers in, do this and do this, okay? Pretty easy. Let's do another one. All right, so here we go. Let's do it again. First, divide our line down here so we can separate everything. Take inventory. OK, over here, same order. All right, and now let's count them up. We've got 
got one, got one, we've got two, because there's the two. Over here we have one, we have two, and we have one. Okay, so the sodiums are from the get-go, they're balanced. But now we have to move on. So this has got two, this one only has one. So we're gonna have to put a two, a coefficient two here, so that it multiplies this by two. So now we've got two. But what that's done now is that has messed up our sodium. So we're gonna have to change that. So now it's two times one here is two sodiums. So over here, we're gonna have to change, we have to put a coefficient in there so that we get two sodiums here. So there we go, change this to two. But now by putting this two in here, we've changed our number of chlorines. Okay, so two. These are balanced, these are balanced, and these are balanced. Excellent, job done. So we'll just throw one in here, one in here. Easy, right? Let's do another one. Okay, here's the last one. We're gonna start off by doing our inventory here. So we're gonna have aluminum, and oxygen, aluminum, oxygen. Okay, so how many do we have over here? We have one aluminum, we have two oxygens, we have two aluminums, and three oxygens. Okay, so here's where we get to do that back and forth, back and forth, trying to even everything up. So we're gonna have to double this. Okay, that gives us two. So now the aluminums are, they're balanced. But now we get to this. We've got two oxygens and three oxygens. As we said before, the best way to do that is just to multiply them by each other to get six in this case. So in order to do this, we, we go three. So that gives us now six. We have to multiply this by two, and that gives us six, but now that messed up our aluminum. So you have to pay attention to stuff like that. So now we've got four aluminums. So what do we have to do over here to get four aluminums? Just eliminate this, put four like that. So we've got four aluminums, six oxygens, eliminate that and it's balanced, okay? So watch these videos over and over again. Uh, make up your own if you think you can. Go online, there are lots and lots of them online. So just enjoy, do the best you can. We'll go over more in class, but this should give you enough of a foundation that you can do well, all right? Thanks for coming, see you next time.